program director, and all protocol observed. We gather in the midst of a complex and an ongoing strategy that is being played out in Israel and Palestine. With repercussions for every human being everywhere, today the Ingata Freedom Party joins this rally with one clear message, the violence must stop. We call for an end to conflict and a genuine embrace of negotiations. We support the two-state solution. We recognize the responsibility of our country to foster that solution in the interest of peace throughout the world. We more urgently recognize the responsibility of the South African government not to exacerbate the conflict through biased statements that apportion blame. Emotive Emotive language such as likening the state of Israel to apartheid South Africa is irresponsible, reprehensive, and inflammatory. We call on all our country's own leadership to lead by example, taking cognizance of the fear, pain, and suffering on both sides of this conflict and acting on the principle that all life is valuable and a loss to life is a tragedy. We stand in support of every child caught in the grip of fear, grief, and confusion, both in Israel and Palestine. These are the real victims of these conflicts, and these are the ones who will bear the scars of today's decisions, both on their bodies and their spirits. They will remember and they will escalate this conflict in the generation to come if we fail to end it now. History has given us enough evidence of the cycle of violence. Our only hope of healing the wounds of our children is through our actions now. If we, if we move now towards a lasting ceasefire, towards negotiations, towards peace, and eventually towards rec reconciliation, we will heal these wounds. The IFP acknowledges Israel's right to defend herself and her citizens, particularly against terrorism. South Africa would surely do the same. Citizens right, rightly expect their government to protect them from attack, defend their life, and secure them in a life free of constant threat. We are deeply concerned However, by the toll of suffering and bloodshed exerted by this conflict due to the strategy used by Hamas of deploying weapons and command centers to densely populated residential areas. In so doing, it is ensuring civ civilian casualties. This is reprehensive in the extreme. The death toll among the people of Palestine is aggravating international disproportion for a nation under siege, the nation of Israel. It is seemingly the strategy of Hamas to shake support for Israel by placing civilians in the line of fire. That is the mark of a terrorist organization and one which IFP holemly condemns. The IFP was founded on the principles of nonviolence and negotiations. We held fast to these principles throughout both apartheid and the people's war that was waged in a costly strategy to liberate our country. The IFP has never wavered from advocating peace and moving towards reconciliation. We condemn violence as a means to resolving conflict. The heart's cry of oppressed South Africans for freedom, identity, and equal rights that was heard for so many years in our country should make us familiar with the cry of Israel. We should feel empathy for a nation under siege. We should feel solidarity for Israel. But above all, we in South Africa should join the international call for an end to violence so that the tragedy of both sides might abate. The IFP, under the, the moral leadership of Prince Mangosu Tubtelezi, positions itself as an advocate of peace. We offer our condolences to every family that has lost a son or a daughter. We pray for those who have lost their homes and their sense of security. We, the peacemakers, must be the conscious of this generation. I thank you.